which just looks cold, and that matches the name Snow Bunny. <laughs> bronzy, bronzy goddess look or something, you know what I mean? Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a video for you today all about Too Faced bronzers. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Too Faced. I love their stuff, I love their eyeshadows, I love their bronzers too, and I've talked about Chocolate Soleil for years. So I thought it would be really helpful to kind of run through their different ones that they have. I have all of them here, and then there's the other one. So I have all of them to show you, so I thought that I would show you like swatches, kind of talk about how they're similar, how they're different, and then also kind of how I use them and which ones are my favorites. So let's jump into it. So first let's start with their matte bronzers. So they have three different matte bronzers and they're all the Chocolate Soleil bronzers. So they all smell delicious. They all smell like chocolate. That's one of the main reasons I have loved Chocolate Soleil for years. I mean, it performs well and it's a great bronzer, so that's the main reason, but it's an added bonus that it smells like chocolate and just makes me happy and puts me in a good mood every time I use it. So they all have that chocolatey smell and it's actually cocoa powder. Like it says on the back, the power of antioxidant rich cocoa powder to bronze and contour the skin. It's all the tan without the twinkle. So really, really yummy smell. This is what the outside packaging of the first one looks like. So this is Milk Chocolate Soleil. This is the lightest of the three. Now this one is a very light matte bronzer. So I'm pretty fair complected. I'm not porcelain, but I'm really light complected. And this one I really do have to build up on my skin. So if you are my skin tone or any darker, this may not be the bronzer for you or you're really gonna have to build it up a lot. So this one is, of course, matte, but this one is a little bit more warm toned than the one I'm about to show you, than the traditional just chocolate Soleil. This one has a little bit more warmth to it. So if you like a warmer bronzer, then you can consider this one. But just remember the main thing about this one is it's very, very light. So if you are porcelain complected and have a really hard time finding a bronzer that works for your skin tone, because all of them are too dark, this would be a great one to try out really, really nice. Then we have my first love, Chocolate Soleil. This is what the outside packaging looks like. I love their packaging. Like it just, I don't know, looks fancy, but also looks like, like a bakery or something. It's so cute. So that's what the box looks like. This is the same, the compact looks the same. Now this one, you can actually see rings in mine because I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there are definitely rings showing because I use this all the time. This one is a really nice kind of like mid-toned bronzer and it's cooler. So, I mean, it's not super duper like taupey or gray, but it's not very warm. It's definitely, it's very chocolatey, but it's just, amazing oh my gosh it's so pretty you can apply it more lightly and then you have just like just a really natural contour or you can really build it up i built it up more here so you can see you really can build it up and make it darker which is really beautiful it's just very very versatile this is a go-to bronzer for me so for contouring i bronze up my neck with it too like if i'm just like getting ready in the morning and i'm not thinking about like trying different things or experimenting much with my makeup, this is what I grab for. It is a go-to for me, I love it. Then we have Dark Chocolate Soleil. This is what the packaging looks like for this one. Again, the compact is the same. The compacts are the same on all these except for one of their bronzers, which is this one. We'll get to that in a second. So anyway, this is Dark Chocolate Soleil. So this is the deepest of the three. And this one is more, you can you can tell, and I'll show you comparison swatches in a second. This one is less of a neutral cool tone bronzer than Chocolate Soleil. This is more of a warm toned, darker sort of a bronzer, but it really just does give you that like bronzy, bronzy goddess look or something. You know what I mean? Like it's it's dark, but it's also very warm. So really beautiful so i think this would be really really gorgeous on medium to deep skin tones it's great you really can build it up let me, let me show you built up just a little bit these just really they really build on themselves so nicely so there it is built up even more so if you're looking for kind of like a mid tone to slightly warm toned deeper bronzer that's matte this is a great option and here they are all side by side so there is milk chocolate soleil there is Chocolate Soleil, and there is Dark Chocolate Soleil. So you can just see the comparison of 
the depth of the tones of them, but also kind of like how warm or cool toned each of them are compared to the others. So all beautiful bronzers, love these. They're some of my go-to matte bronzers. Now we're gonna get into their luminous and glowy bronzers and they have quite a few options kind of under this umbrella. So first I'm gonna start with Snow Bunny. I love the packaging on this one with the kind of like blue just because it's very like, I don't know, snowy, icy themed. You know what I mean? It's just, it's very, well, it's blue. So it just looks cold and that matches the name Snow Bunny. <laughs> So there is this one. So it's got four different sections. I'm actually wearing this as my highlight today, but I avoided the bronzy shade. So this one, like you can swatch them all separately and use them as eyeshadows. You can use them, um, you know, like certain ones mixed together for different things, or you can swatch them all together and mix it all up and just get a really kind of like bronzy glowy highlight. Let me show you the sw a swatch of this one. Here are the four different shades. So there's one, there's one, there's one, and there's one. And there it is all swatched together. So you can see like when that bronze comes into it, it really makes it very bronzy, but it's a really beautiful glowy look. So it's still supposed to be a bronzer, but it's supposed to be that kind of really glowy bronzy bronzer, you know what I mean? Whereas like today, I just left off that one and kind of mixed these different colors and then you end up with a highlight. So I think it's really pretty. I think it's very versatile. It does make me sad that when you mix it together, it messes it up, but as you use your brush again, it fixes it again. But anyway, took one for the team, mixed it together so you could see what it looks like all mixed together. So really pretty. Then we have Beach Bunny. This is what the outside packaging looks like on that one. So it's kind of like a purpley sort of packaging. This looks the same. But then you look at this one. This one's got the four different sections on this as well. But this one is definitely less of that highlighting bronzer and more of just that deep bronze goddess sort of a look. So here is this one all swatched. So this one is pretty dark, so I have to be pretty careful with this one. Um, I am wearing this today kind of on my neck and I sort of bronzed up my face a little bit with this one. So you can kind of like concentrate in different areas of this one to, you know, like change up how deep it looks on your skin tone, but there it is all mixed together. So just really pretty. This one is a little bit more of a rosy toned, just slightly more rosy toned. The next one I'm about to show you is Sun Bunny and this one is slightly more rose toned than that one, but it's still warm toned, but it's just got, seems to have just a little bit more pink in it than Sun Bunny. So there's that one. Sun Bunny has a yellow outside packaging, which is really adorable. So it matches its name, kind of like Snow Bunny, but this one is a two-sided bronzer. So it's got the lighter kind of glowy side, and then it's got the darker sort of glowy side. So very kind of like bronzy on this side. So here are the shades on this one. There's the lighter one and the darker one and swirled together. So I'm gonna show you a comparison swatch of all these in a second, but this one again um, is more like warm tone, slightly more orangey than Beach Bunny. Beach Bunny has just a little bit more of a rose tint, but they're really, really close. Um, so I think both Beach Bunny and Sun Bunny are great, just glowy, bronzy, warm sort of bronzers if you're wanting just that you know, sun-kissed look, these are both great options. Then we have Pink Leopard, and this one is described as a bronzing and blushing powder. It says it combines gorgeous shades of golden bronze, gilded pink, and neutral fawn to create a glorious all-over glow or healthy flush to your cheeks any time of the year. So this one is really cute in the pan. Mine has been swirled because I do use this, so it gets muddy looking, but it's really cute that it has that kind of like leopard, sort of printing and pattern. And you can really, I mean, if you have really tiny brushes, you can kind of like concentrate which sections you use. But I find that a little bit difficult to use. So I just kind of like swirl it all together and that's why it ends up looking so muddy and sad. But it just becomes this like beautiful, rosy, glowy color. It's really, really pretty. Now I do have to kind of be careful like how I use this because it can get a little bit muddy on my skin tone. So I like to mix this usually with something else. So either my Chocolate Soleil bronzer or one of the warmer tone bronzers, just a little bit of something warm in here. And then I'll use just a little bit of this as kind of like a blush bronzer look, but I like to add a little bit of warmth to it. 
but you can see like if you have problems with like if you find that a lot of your bronzers pull too warm then this one is a great option because it's very cool toned very rosy and just has that beautiful glow. This last one has different packaging than all their other bronzers, but it does have the same really adorable heart-shaped packaging as their Sweetheart's blushes. So there is what this one looks like. This is the Sweetheart's Bronzer Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer, and this is in Sweet Tea. And it's got the two different sides, kind of like Sun Bunny, but this one is a lot more neutral toned. So it almost reminds me of like, the glowy version of Chocolate Soleil, which is one of my favorites. Chocolate Soleil is probably my very favorite of their whole line, but this one is one of my favorites as well because it just is a great neutral but glowy bronzer. So you've got the lighter glowy side and the darker side. So here it is swatched. So the lighter is here and there is the darker and it's baked. So it's very pigmented, but it's very, very easy to blend as well. So I love the texture on this one. It's just so easy to use. I like to bronze up with it. I like to contour with it. It's just a very versatile bronzer. Very kind of similar to NARS's Laguna in that. That I feel like Laguna has a little bit of a glow to it, but I use that one for contouring and bronzing up my skin as well. Same with this one. So really, really nice. I just love that it's a neutral, glowy bronzer. I feel like that's kind of hard to find, but this one definitely does that. So comparing all the glowy bronzers, so here we've got Snow Bunny, Beach Bunny, Sun Bunny, Pink Leopard, and then over here is Sweet Tea. So you can see them all compared to each other. So kind of reiterating how I use all these, I use these kind of basically as bronzy bronzers, so I'm kind of warming up my complexion with those, or this one I'll use as a highlighter, but I concentrate it on the lighter colors and kind of avoid that bronzy shade. This one I'll use as a blushing bronzer, and this one I either use for contouring or bronzing up my skin, so that one's the most versatile for me personally but lots of options here. So whatever bronzer you're looking for, they've probably got it in their collection. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what some of your favorite bronzers are, either from Too Faced or any brand. I love bronzers. I think that they make a huge difference in just the overall makeup look. So I would love to know some of your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.